my favorite times we used uh, scenic proje projections was um, we did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which is a fun show. You can uh, use a large children's choir, you use a lot of different singers, there's a lot of different styles of music. There's so many great things about that show. But we decided to <laughs> kind of set it a little more modern parts of it, like modern day, um, to create a little bit more of a relevancy connection with some of our young people that were in the show and would come to see the show. And so we used projections to do that. We Potiphar, we set Potiphar as the owner of a nightclub. And so in order to do that, a nightclub, you want to evoke like a certain kind of lighting, uh, neon, even black light in a certain way. We wanted to create a little bit of a club sensibility on the stage, not too intense, but enough that you kind of got the picture. And I don't know that there would have been any other way to do that besides a backdrop. So the backdrop for the nightclub was so cool. It shed, it kind of shed kind of a pink and blue light from the different colors in the drop. And then that hit the actors in a certain way. So it actually felt like, without using a ton of lighting and gels, which we didn't have access to in the theater space we were using, we had a real basic lighting system. But that backdrop created color and depth that I could have never done another way. It was awesome. Plus, the, it opened up and the music started and you saw that backdrop and we had some chairs sitting a certain way and some lights hung and it just, it created an atmosphere so quickly. It was beautiful. In that same show, we had a dungeon drop when Joseph gets thrown into the dungeon, and um, it was cool, it was fun. It looked like um, a storybook dungeon, it was kind of fun. Uh, we also had set pieces on stage that were bars, little separate bars where our kids were setting all over the stage behind, a, they could have stood up and walked around the bars, but this suspension of disbelief, they were behind bars. So it looked like a bunch of different cells in a dungeon if you didn't think about it too hard. What we didn't expect is that when we projected onto our cyclorama, the scene bled down onto the stage. The, the backdrop projection bled down onto the stage. So instead of it having stage up to the psych and then having projection above that, it started projecting almost at the front of the stage and went all the way up. It was just, it was a problem that we later fixed as far as just resolution and adjusting. But once I saw that and then we went to the adjusted version, I wanted the other one back. And so we unadjusted it so that the, the, the projection, which had beautiful blues and purples and stone pattern worked into it, it was, it was reflecting on the faces of all the actors. It was the most beautiful lighting effect ever. And it happened totally by accident, but I then wouldn't trade it because I absolutely wanted that lighting effect for that scene. And so, and on, on top of that, the, the projection reflected onto the bars and then it threw these really cool bar shadows all over the floor. It was the most beautiful lighting effect that I had zero resources to create on my own. And it kind of happened by accident, but it's one of the most fun ways I've used a uh, scenic projection to date to create a dungeon feel with all of the all of the kind of shadows and light coming from random sources and these really beautiful colors of deep, cool colors. Um, it, it evoked a very dungeon sensibility. <laughs> it, was, it was fun.